Good morning, people. Just thought I'd make a video for tonight. Keep you updated on events. It's a lovely morning this morning, mind. So I'll keep you updated on what's going on. So bird shit. He said on his live he had an appointment with Northumbria police yesterday about me and threatening and intimidating witnesses. <laughs> it's full of fucking shit, to be honest. Um, the witnesses are supposed to be JJ and that big slob that's driving them around, that obese Dave, fellow pedo. What else can he be? Um... And the, they must be witnesses, he must be claiming that they're witnesses in the um, Marie Howarth case somewhere. All he's trying to do is get the cops involved with me. That's why I put that post out yesterday for. You didn't want to be sending any cops to see me, but you fucking were ye, cunt. And I just thought I'd remind him everything he's been up to. But it's on him at the minute. It's on all of them at the minute. Ginger, the whole gang of them who's been involved... All these scummy cunts, Ginger and his minions, that's who it is. Ginger and all his fucking minions are in trouble here. And Tony Birdshit has got the evidence on all of the others. Saved. Saved. And he's even put made videos saying I've got this evidence saved. On motorsports and this one and that one. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if, he, if he's got other stuff on... The tax man in that as well, considering what went on with Pizza Face, the undercover, setting people up. Because that's what's went on, yeah. They've tried to set Brian up, tried to set me up as well at the same time. Pizza Face, the same sort of similar sort of stuff I got on him. Brian didn't, obviously. Uh, part of operations for the murder cases, Operation Insight, they want Brian in a corner and in trouble for whatever he has said to Jamie Tinfoil regarding Viv's murder and the other murder. And that's what's going on here with Brian and Pizza Face. And whose trouble does Pizza Face cause him with? Oh, only Tinfoil's who's in car. The very person who you've discussed the murders with. And I'm not budging from the fact. With Pizza Face, I know what he is. I smell him from day one. That's why they've got nothing on me. Nothing whatsoever. Um, not even something bent would I do with them fucking two because I was on them. But see, Pizza Face, this is what they do. They send their boys in. They don't tell anyone their boys and their boy gets nicked. When he gets nicked, he rolls over on everyone who's been sent in to get nicked. They give them a deal. All right, we'll give you a deal. The one that's been causing all the trouble, doing all the smashing up, they'll give him a deal against the likes of me and the tax man they would. If he'd managed to get me into trouble too, which he never. That's a script with these undercovers and that, and f operations. There's a slip people into you. And Pizza Face has been slipped right in. Slipped right in to do Jamie Tinfoil's fucking who's to stir it. I'm fucking telling yous. Listen to this. Um, this is when the first fallouts obviously happened between Bird shit, Tony Bird shit, the triple child rapist. Well, not convicted, but as when I, he's been arrested a great number of times throughout his life, different points for raping school kids. We all know that now. If he wants to portray any further to his subs, that he's some sort of good guy, yeah, and a victim of what's going on, just do a serious law challenge with me, Tony. But as we all know, you've refused that offer number of times over the past fucking 12 months. You want fucking you ginger. That's the worst part of this. What you've been up to with Decker H Heggie's mum. With your form and his form. Two biggest child abusers on, on the internet and one of the one years is the biggest danger to children on the internet. That's you, Tony. And yous, yous are smashing up Innocent old ladies' hooses because her son's done something. Got an NFA, what's not as bad as, as fucking yours or his. 
that's what the worst part of this is. What you, the accusations have carried out against innocent people, portraying other people as sex offenders and that one, and all along, it's fucking yous. You and Ginger, biggest fucking sex of, gang of sex offenders. Carrying out attacks on everyone, every cunt else. Hey. I'm fighting the cats. But anyway, when Marie Howarth done the Sarah's Law on Tony and found out for sure that he is a tripled, been arrested for multiple child rapes over the years. When she seen him in the car videos with pizza face and Beanie's kids, she reported that Tony and that Sarah's Law to the Scottish Social Services says get him away from them kids, he's a danger. And Scottish Social Services moved straight in to Beanie's house, said get him out. I think that's the only person she has revealed the uh, details of the Sarah's Law to, like officially, um, and that's the Social Services Department. Cops kind of deny out about that because she's protecting children. But this has obviously caused a big, big, bitter fallout. Because Pizza Faces end up having to leave Beanie's house because he must have decided, put, Beanie's must have given the ultimatum to either fucking him or fucking me. And he's obviously chose Tony. And he shows what shit Tony's got on him. But anyway, cut a long story short, they're in trouble here. And this is where they're in trouble. In the near future. Apart from all the other shit they've been up to, Pizza Face has nicked with uh, a gun, a replica gun, discharging it in a public place. The minimum sentence for that is five years in Scotland. Mandatory. Like a life sentence, if you kill someone, you've got a judge has got to give you life. Mandatory to see him with gun offences in Scotland. You get caught with a gun in a public place, regular or, or not, you're getting a minimum of five years. And that's what Pizza Face is nicked for. Their man is nicked with a gun. Scottish cops. How do they get him out of it? How does his handlers get him out of that? Well, I just think they were going to deal him up. This is why the pizza face hasn't got any form, any criminal record, so he gets a deal over everybody else when they wrap up operations. He can, he done this and he done that, and I done it for him, I done it for him, and I done this for him, and I done this for him. And then he gets a deal where he doesn't go to jail as long as he gives evidence against all the fucking targets he's been sending to get. And he's managed to get Brian. He didn't manage to get me, but he got fucking Brian. But anyway, he's nicked with a gun. Motorsports just took the gun off him. Yes, Motorsports must have knew what sort of fucking gun it was through my videos. This is where they're in trouble. Um, Tony and Pizza Face have gotten Beanie because they were all speaking at this point. The, the Sarah's Law hadn't been, they hadn't been chased at the house by this point, had he? They've gotten Beanie to make a statement saying that Pizza Face didn't have the gun. Motorsports had it. <laughs> How about that one? And that's all part of the trial that's coming up. Pizza Face is pleading not guilty. The cops know who's going to this. That's why he's charged. And not Motorsports. They know who's going to this. Just from YouTube videos. Apollo and whatnot. But they have getting beanie to pervert the course of justice by fabricating evidence against innocent motorsports by saying no no he had the gun well if you know what's happened when they've been caught with the gun Peter Face has jumped out of a fucking car on the motorway run up to motorsports with a fucking replica gun and motorsports has took it off him people have seen him with the gun and reported him to the police but time police arrives, Peter Face runs away and leaves motorsports with a gun, holding a gun when the cops arrive on the motorway. Five-year sentence. <laughs> it's not even his, he's just took it off somebody. 
and they're saying it's his. They've gotten Beanie to make a statement saying that's motorsports. You now listen, they will now. She's lying. That's why he's judged. Already saying, now you're lying. But who's saying it? Because your man's charged still. They cannot do anything with her regarding that statement, even if the know she's lying, until after the trail. Because <laughs> you may get acquitted. Figure it's for not going to leave that trail. That's her away with that statement too. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing to do about it. But if Pizza Face gets found guilty of that trail, then obviously they know the statement's lies then, because it's even been found guilty by the jury to be lies. And that's when she's in trouble. When he gets found guilty. Making false statements against people, perverting the course of justice, fabricating evidence, you name it, is only in charges yeah. Involved with Beanie and motorsports when Pizza Face gets found guilty. She's gone to jail with them. She she may get more than five years in jail. Uh, Cause then she's obviously involved with the. She's gonna get charged with a gun to charge. Then once he's found guilty, otherwise why is she lying? She's travelling with him with the gun, making statements saying it's not ours, it is. She's gonna get charged with possession of that gun as well, on top of all the lies and statements and. She's in fucking big trouble here, but that's to come. As soon as he's found guilty, wait and see. Cops could not charge her. But they're stuck. Their hands are tied at the minute because he's still pleading not guilty and he may get acquitted. Then her statement's believed. On record, even though they didn't believe it, because of the not guilty, they've got a dyslexic gun as if it was the truth because he's been acquitted. But if it's not acquitted, then the jury's found, no, no, that statement's not true. She's getting charged. But the cops are left to wait until he's found guilty. Wouldn't they? Um, and what she did sticking by them anyway after the fucking even at this stage sticking by them after she knows for fact through her own social services department that uh, Tony is a child rapist been sat in the car back seat with, with our kids and sat in a fucking house with our kids and she knows for a fact through social services through Maria we reporting it. This is not in dispute. Um what she's still dealing with were the likes of them. And that's just getting rid of fucking pizza face since. But where does she stand with the statement she's made that they have getting out to make against motorsports? They're in fucking trouble. I just keep thinking that they're gonna give pizza face the deal and get him with the gun charge as well. Everything, wrap everything up, eyes, you know what I mean? And just say, right, as long as you give evidence against Conroy, which I never got, tax man, and whoever has been sent in to set up us for operations, these fucking murders, um, he was going to walk anyway, and that's why they've chose him. Someone with no record whatsoever, not even a parking ticket. I've tell you, that's not right, man. Just the acts that he's carrying out all over the country. Someone with that sort of record wouldn't even think about carrying out their max, man. It's just not right. He's a proper fucking black op sim sent in to do a job. And it's on him. And his fucking handlers. So that's why I say to everyone, keep an eye on him and these fucking cases. And I've said it for fucking six, nine months. He's went and set the fucking tax man up. Failed with me, but he got the tax man. So Bertrand had an appointment with Northumbria Police yesterday about me and this intimidating witnesses and whatnot. Do you honestly think Northumbria Police is going to take any notice or anything he's got to say about me and this matter? Do you honestly think they're going to take any notice? They'll act if they've got to act. If they've got to act. If they're stuck. Because he you know what he is. He's a fucking child rapist who's using and manipulating the law here yeah, to protect himself and and all sorts of skullduggeries up there. But they know that through following my channel because the busy's telling me on the police interviews we watch every one of your videos. 
Well, if they watch every one of my videos because, because, as part of Operation Insight, biggest murder investigation in the history of England, if they watch every one of my videos as part of that murder operations, surely they know what Tony's been up to. Like all lusty. And prior to the big fallout, where he's been fucking Cumbrian Truths mothers, Cumbrian Truths, Gated Angels, Rondas, uh, you name it. They've been all over the fucking country, threatening and intimidating fucking weak and meek fucking people and women. This child abusing, these child abusing cunts are ganged up and intimidated normal everyday folk. Gang of fucking nonsense. Bacon Brigade. We're well named the fucking Bacon Brigade. Bacon Brigades all fell out with each other. Bacon Brigades all fell out with each other after they've carried out all these acts against everyone else. And Tony's threatening the others. I've got the evidence. Yous have carried out this act and that act. What about them producing the evidence for the drug oil pamphleting case? Yourself producing that photo with Dildo Dave. Showing everyone. It's him that's done it. Regardless. That's them pamphlets. He showed it himself on, on YouTube. Put the evidence there. We've done that. You might know who's done it between me, Pizza Face and Dildo Dave, but there's the, the pamphlets in Rhonda's house, 150 miles away from the Asda at Glasgow, not in motorsports boot of the car, what he's saying, he's also got on evidence. Remember, he's come from there, and then he's got them in Rhonda's sitting room, with him, him and Pizza Face, after they videoed them in motorsports' car in the Asda. So how was it, how was they ended up in Rhonda's sitting room for him to take that photograph? Um, obviously they've gotten some of them off them, I saw I've gotten all of them off them, but he said the motorsports had 5,000 leaflets in, in the car, and he's got them on video. He's threatening motorsports, blackmailing them. But then, in the next breath, he's got them in fucking Rhonda sitting room, and he's producing the evidence himself. Didn't think Doug Oyne will have missed that. She'll just be unsure. That's funny, mad, this one. There's Dildo Dave with a photo sat in front of him. Tony's got the evidence of them being in motorsports' boot when he's meeting up with motorsports and Ginger. And there they are in Rondas with him and Pizza Face and Dildo. The, the very pamphlets. And when you look at the, all them involved, even if you're not sure who's guilty and who's not guilty, you know one of them's guilty because there's the fucking papers. And Tony's got the video of them in motorsports' boot. So you know one of them's guilty, yeah. No matter what, there's an eager to wait. It's just who. Um. Oh, it's just fucking who? Didn't think dog oins, that's why I was the point I was going to come to. If you look at who's been dog oins, closest friends and allies over the past two years, who surround on, on our panels, and on, if you look who it is, look who it's been. Tony, Motorsports, Ginger, they've all been friendly after they've been attacking them. And then, then smiling, stabbing him in the back and smiling in his face on his panel. Hey, can you want to promote our channel? And she's been promoting all our fucking channels as well, hasn't she? Siding with them against me, especially Humbles. Siding with them. And they've been a stabbing her in the back all along. All of them. Stabbing her in the back, pamphleting her and doing this. Making her think it was pizza face when it's been all of them involved, obviously. Because Tony's got the evidence. Pamphlets and motorsports boot. When he's meeting him and Ginger. And he has the car out of Glasgow. He's got the evidence. He's got them on tape. Talking about it. He's admits this. And then the pamphlets is in Ronda Sentinel. Where he's trying to use them as some subtle blackmail thing against Dildo Dave. But as I've told you, Ronda says they had them pamphlets and they had done dog iron shoes. And like I say, <laughs> Ronda will take a look. If anyone disbelieves me, if Tony Subs disbelieve me, just put a GoFundMe up for a lie detector test for Ronda. You can do it. You can arrange it. Tony Subs can arrange it. And pay for it to find out who's telling the truth. If Tony's innocent, 
Tony and Pizza Face are innocent of attacking, being involved in attacking Jamie Tinfoils and etc. They should be putting a go for me out today to get that lady tenant test done for Ronda, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? <laughs> See, when they're being run around the country, doing all these pamphlet and things and painting things and that, it's individually, the only petty offences. You're lucky if you get jailed over them, you make it six months. If you're lucky, unlucky. But that's just day one. But all of them together, all of them together, all over the country, that's this. This is a conspiracy. Then the sentence gone straight up to 14 years for conspiracies. That's, all over the country, there's a gang before they fell out. That's a conspiracy to wreak havoc all over the communities and social media communities all over the fucking country. And there's at least eight attacks that they've carried out. Humbles and his minions have carried out on social media, p victims all over the country. Um, and that's just ones off the top of my fucking head. There's probably a lot more to include. Who done Venices? Who done Beanies? I didn't include them. There's, and there's others that were unsure who's done them. I got to tell you yesterday that Venice was good friends with Jamie Tinfoil and he got his done at the same time. So they've done tin files to cause shit. Who's done Venice's? And Beanies and God knows who else. Who, what of us has been done? An old people's home got done in Glasgow of Pizza Face and Tony, didn't they? An old people's residence or something. Um, there's another three attacks, at least. I think they've done things with care, Tony. Try to run him or not and done attacks on him. That, is that when the old woman's... Old, that's when the old people's place got done. When they done care to and he's, they done an old one, person to him by mistake. But anyway, there's at least a dozen attacks being carried out on social media, social media wars, by Humbles and his minions. Chief one being Tony. Number two, chief one being Dildo Dave, who's on the photo with the pamphlets. And now they've all fell out. They've all fell out. Who's going to talk first when they're nicked? Who do you think? Well, I know what the plan's been. Get pizza for us to talk first, but they're stuck now. Who's going to talk first, yeah, when they're nicked between uh, this gang? Tony's already talked, he's put on video for the cops. I've got the evidence of them having these pamphlets in Scotland and Asda. And I've got the evidence, still do Dave's got them in Rhonda's sitting room. He's trying to paint that picture. I didn't think he realises what he's done, putting that picture out. That just confirms everything. Oh, he's done it. He's have definitely done it. There's the pamphlets on the coffee room, sitting room table. He's have done it. Now the cops now for sure through that photograph. And that's when he's trying to paint a different picture, yeah? Um, he's trying to paint it that the Scottish firm's done it. The ones that's run them out of Scotland, the pedo squad. He's trying to say they've done it and they had the pamphlets. I've got evidence of that on video, on my phone. For the police, he's made a video claiming this. And then he's put a post suit with a photo of the same pamphlets. 150 mile away in a place he was staying on a sitting room table. Same ones. So who's done the attack on dog irons? And then I've got two videos of them two doing a dog irons house during that period of time videoing a front door. This is dog irons who's there uh, uh, from the car. Like the dumb come and two mums done the same with dog irons. Didn't knock on a door, but out of that. I've got the videos. So those other people. So who has done dog iron shoes with them pamphlets? Do you think, people? You, the jury. Who do you think's done it? It's like a quiz, like a, a, a conundrum, isn't it? If Tony, put you, well, he, he said it on video and nobody's disputed it. They just shut up when he said that, didn't they? And he's got it on video, them pamphlets in motorsports' boot. And he has the car out at Glasgow when he met them. 
My money shoot motorsport, she's samurai sword. This is what I've got. In case I've got any trouble. And then motorsport is supposed to have took him to his boot and went, that's what I've got. Five thousand pamphlets for dog oil. And then same pamphlets is in Ronda sitting room. So who's done it? And who's behind it? I'll tell you what's possible. Ginger has arranged a lot, because he's behind, he's a money man. Him and him and Kebab Flops have arranged a lot. All of the rest of them are just runners getting paid off them. Even motorsports. He's just Ginger's lucky. Or he has been. Getting used by the Masons. <laughs> All of them. Um where was I going to go in there? Tell you what, I was going to say what I think. I think Ginger's arranged a whole lot, him and Kebab Flops. And they have passed on, that's why they were meeting them at the Arsda Car Park, to give them the pamphlets. Yeah, get dog on who's done. Because apparently you got done off two scousers, that was the crack, wasn't it? And I've always said, two scousers, that'll be Dildo Dave, and expose TV, because that's our fucking laggies and mates who do their jobs for them. I've said this from day one. I've said this before the photograph come out in Ronda sitting room as well. So what I think is, Peter Face, and well, it's possible this, Peter Face and Tony have went to Scotland, getting the five thousand pamphlets, they've then shared them, with Dildo Dave, because that's all, uh, oh, they're all getting paid off the fucking humbles. Shared them with Dildo Dave, or something like that went on, and then Nave went and carried out the attack on Dugoyne's area and a house and whatever they done to That's what I think's possible happened, yeah. And Tony is trying to paint a different picture as if I'm not involved, all of them are involved. I've got a photograph of them pamphlets in Motorsports' boot, and I've got a photograph of them pamphlets in front of Dildo Dave, who works for Humbles as well. And he's producing the evidence for the cops, isn't he? He's done it. He's put the evidence on camera, including the pamphlets themselves, for the attack on Dogoin. What they're going to say when they get nicked over it. They can go and nick them now. He needs nicking now. Dogoyne will probably get Tony sat doing now. There's your fucking chief suspect. He's saying he's got them on his phone and his boot. And there he is with them in his fucking sitting room because he's staying at that house. Wasn't Ronda this. It's fucking Tony and fucking pizza face. There he is at the house he's staying at with him on his fucking sitting room thing trying to see the dildo Dave's. But it's his photograph. His photograph. So he needs questioned over that photograph at least by the cop involved in a dog eyeing attack. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? He's got them pamphlets in his residence. Tony has. Tony and Pizza Face. The ones that's been used in a crime. But he's trying to imply that Dildo Dave's in the photograph. Look at the photograph. And look at why he's asking Dildo Dave, what's that bundle of papers in front of you? We'll just blow the papers up, you can see what they are. You've just got to go and compare them patterns with the patterns on the real ones that were used against Dog Iron, what the police have got on record. And you'll see they're the same pamphlets. Could not. And there he is producing them for the police. So what's he going to say when he's sat doing off the cops? Because Dog Iron is definitely going to get Tony sat doing over the attack on her home and reputation and publicly. She'll sue them this lot, yeah. She will, for what they've done. They've been caught. They've just been caught, they just need sat doing. Tony cannot not answer questions, no, he's got the pamphlets. Pizza Face is already suspect, him and Tony's all, and we've got the videos of them sat outside Dog Owen's house when they've done it. They took some videos of our house. Um, Rhonda's got them videos as well. Rhonda, how they keep giving all this stick to you and intimidating her and this is why they've tried to intimidate Rhonda from day one because she, cause they knew, she knew too much. And there's been a follow-up between them. <laughs> What's he going to see? 
and the cops start going as, as Tony Sadun and Pizza Face Sadun over them pamphlets. And Tildo, Dave? Yes, Tildo, Tony's asking you. What's that bundle of paper sat in front of you, Dildo Dave, and that photograph? So Dildo Dave's got to get sat doing now with an attack on Doug Hines. I think it's been all of them. All of them have been involved. That's what I think. And I think Tony's trying to blame all the others, but, but him or Pizza Face. But all the evidence, all the evidence tells you it's him and Pizza Face who's done it, even the video evidence of Doug Hines' front door. But um, but he's trying to imply on camera, and he's put down, done it now, isn't he? Back note of it, that it's all the others who have done it, and not me, not me. Yous, I've got the evidence. Most sports is boot. Dildo Dave and Ronald's car park. Look at Doug Hines pamphlets. <laughs> he's got to be sat down by St Anne's police now. All of them have. Well, Tony and Dildo Dave have, because there's the evidence in front of the cops in a picture. Right, well, no one's done it. Let's get them sat down and ask them what is, till today, what is? Answer, Dave, answer us what Tony's asking you. What is that bundle of papers in front of you there, Dave? We've blew the picture up. Um, and Tony and Pizza Face are already suspects in this crime. So what's Dildo Dave going to say? Because they're trying to imply he's done it. There's no, that's, uh, look, why would he ask Dildo Dave that question? On YouTube, with the pamphlets. What's that? But he's trying to subtly blackmail him somewhere. He was. I think he's, he's passed them on to Dildo Dave. Or oh, some of them, half of them on to Dildo Dave. Something's, went, something's happened, yeah. But one thing for one half for sure, they have done it. There's the pamphlets on the photo. And didn't think Dog Hines not looking in and onto the cop in charge of that case, her case. Tony's got to be questioned now and so is Dildo Dave. And when they question Tony over the photograph, they'll also question him over the video, YouTube video where he's claiming he's got the pamphlets on video in the Asda car park, motorsports boot in Scotland. <coughs> but like I say, all the evidence points to Tony and Pizza Face in their sitting room. They could have given, they could have given motorsports some of the some of the pamphlets and went, yeah, put these some of them away, and then took a video of them, couldn't they? Look what he's done to Little Dill Dave in the sitting room. Look what they've done to motorsports with a gun. It's your gun, it's not our gun. Look what we're dealing with, yeah, man. Fucking scumbag cunts who are all fighting amongst each other now. Who are all fighting amongst each other, I'm now. I didn't get on my head of them. You know, I was coming out the cleanest so far out of all of them. Eh, fucking motorsports. Sort of kept myself all fucking weak and through the whole, sh the whole thing. If you look, if you followed it like I followed it. All the rest of them, fucking hell, man. Pedophile circle, child abusing circle. Causing havoc all over the country, deflecting, and then building up a reputation for themselves at the same time, and, and as a gang, to fight off any accusations that comes against them, because they're a firm. Them, the Bacon Brigade have become a firm against all of people, other people on social media. See anything? We can fucking do we in this way, do we in that way? And that's what that's what you're actually been saying, yeah. Who are these cunts? If you know what their real past is, you then got to ask, yeah, why they've been doing this to other people. When they've got a past like that. They've got the worst past that, that anyone's ever come across. Ginger and bird shit. If somebody's got it on YouTube has got a worse past record for child abuse, a worst one, than either one of them two, tell us who it is. Because Dicky Hickey's doesn't even touch their two. This is why I say it's so wrong, they attack and Dicky Hickey in the first place, them two. And then they attack the innocent mum's house a number of times, put a fucking window suit. And what not? They have terrorised that old innocent old lady for years. For fucking years on social media, family, incest, they sad, made up stories, dogs, and smashed the house up time and time and time again. I was the only one I'd intervened, and I didn't even get up and take a hickey. 
It was me who said, yeah, fuck the community up there, stop that. I was the only one that intervened at that point it stopped. And it's never happened again. Um, but that's where it got me. They were turning even the neighbours and against the poor old innocent mum who's got no to do with what the sun's been up to. And the sun isn't even as half as bad as the fucking instigators of it all. That's what's so wrong about this. And I'll repeat it. If Humbles or Tony want to do a Sarah's Law challenge with me or an Acro challenge with me, throw a solicitor, but Sarah's Law with these two, I'll do both though. Um, that offer's still open to you. And if anybody can tell me, any years out there, watch this video, if anybody at all who's got the front to come on fucking social media or YouTube, who's got the front to, to even do that, if any of them who's got, got a worst child abusing past than Tony or Ginger, tell us who that person is. And I bet you fucking can it. I bet you fucking can it. And that's who the, the, these two child abusers are carrying out all these fucking attacks. Ginger, because he's got the money in. Him and her. They've been paying for it all, haven't they? But then these were their past. She's got the same child abusing past as, as Ginger. Um, this is all on record. If they haven't, I'll do an Acro challenge with them. And a, and a Sarah's Law challenge with them. But, but as we're now, Ginger's admitted it himself on video, numerous videos, and... Tony's admitted it on the audio tapes to Dickie Hickey that the, what I'm saying here. And these is a gang who are running around organising all these attacks on every cunt else. What are they doing it for? Considering that one past, what is actually going on? What they're doing is building up a firm to, to fight off any for their own lives. And when they come a gang of fucking nonsense, who's going to see out against a gang of naughty nonsense? That's what I've seen them creating themselves like a flock of scum, you know, scum forms together. Um, happening on social media instead of in real life. Happening on social media, all the scum gang, ganging together. That's what Tony, Tony got out of that last uh, child rape in 2018. And he's been chased through the York. And the, that's when he got the title, the proper beast of York. He had to leave York. He's in police, police safe who snow. He's in a who's way. You know why people have got a reputation of being grasses and nonsense and they've got to get released from prison and they feel unsafe. There's no way for them to go on other than bail hostels. Outside bail hostels, it's a private sector. And who runs that? It's a, usually ex-cops and probation officers because they know there's a niche in the market for these sort of inmates. People who are bacons get released and they kind of get find new where to live. Not in, instead of other than a bail hostel. Outside that. And, and that's who run all these places in the private sector, ex busies and probation officers. And Birchett's in one of them places that they're running. His, 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 the rest of the people in that block of beds that's how he lives, will all be ex inmates who've got a bad past. And Birchett's happened to get into that system somehow. That's where he lives now in a box room, and a fucking nonce who's full of fucking nonces. Um, grasses and nonces who, who kind of have to hide, sort of semi hiding in the community and feel safe and the landlords are busy that's what you're dealing with with bird shit that's why he's there because of his history of child rape if it's not if he is innocent and a good guy like he's trying to tell people do you say law challenge we meet Tony let's do it and an acro let's do it both of them through a solicitor <laughs> If you're clean, clean like you're trying to masquerade and gaslight people, let's just do it, man. Clear your fucking name. I've taken laddie to test me. I hey man, if I'd been accused of shit like fucking ye, you could. If, and I was in it, oh, well, I would be innocent, but listen, if I'd been accused of shit like ye, I'd be jumping on a fucking laddie to machine. I would. That's why the busies have got them in the police stations now. Four sex offenders. It's their in people. That's part of the system, no. But obviously, no, they're in. They get used on everything. If somebody gets commits a murder today, and they've got the two suspects who are because they were both there, but only one of them's done the killing. They know that because it was a gun. See, only one can pull the trigger. But they don't know which one it is. They need to find out who is the killer between them two, and they're both blaming each other. And see, no days, you know, if that's a situation in a police station, on any case, 
cops will be allowed to attend them. It is a fine note who's telling the truth between the two of them. On serious cases, they'll be getting used now. Um, and that, 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 them attacks all over the country by this gang of fucking bacons. The, the police would probably lie to you take Rhonda. Oh, well, them pamphlets would be a start, wouldn't it? To her sitting room and her fucking coffee table. Remember that attack leads on all of our attacks. That attack nails Tony. Tony's got the evidence on all of our attacks, hasn't he? Well, he's been doing his uh, knocking around the country. <coughs> Working from his police safe house <coughs> with his tape recorders and videos. I can tell you what this cunt was. He's in the busies again yesterday, man, trying to get me nicked. He's putting videos out the day. I was in the police station the day and Conroy's been in to see them about me. Do you genuinely think I've been in to see them about Tony? If they do come to see me about, about him, I'll video it and just to show you so I haven't been to the police about anybody. The only people I've been to the police about is Ginger and that child's murder and nothing else. And I did when I was talking to them about the child's murder. I said, they said, where are you involved? I said, well, I've now a bit of the background of these two because they've been trolling me. So I had to explain a bit of the background of what they'd been up to with me and how I've come across that conspiracy to murder a school child. So that's all I've been to the police about, Tony, and nothing else. As we'll find out on video if the police do come to see me about you and this intimidating the witnesses, but... I don't even think they could do that, if, even if they wanted to. Because there's no witnesses, there's no case, there's no charges, there's no evidence. There's not even any evidence. You're just trying to blow everything out of proportion to get your own way. And don't think for one minute, Tony, when you're on that fucking busy station, they're not on ye. Not only on ye for being what you are, fucking the beast of fucking York. They're on ye for trying to manipulate the fucking system. Just like you close my channel, dude, manipulating the YouTube system. Don't think the busies who are watching my videos aren't already on ye here and this case and what you're up to. So I don't think cops would even have out a day with you. They'd listen to you. Because they've got to either they've got to listen to anyone who goes in and makes a complaint. Can it not? They would listen to you, but would they take any notice of you? No. Nah, wouldn't take any notice of you. Wouldn't believe you. Now you're a beast. And they're now you're lying about everything. And also, now it's not even a case, man. It's not even a case, man. What do you mean, witnesses? Intimidating how the witnesses in the case in the first place. They're witnesses in the Marie Olive case. How's that? Then there's not even a case against Marie, Tony. We've had her in because she didn't admit anything or answer any questions. There's no what we're going to do because she haven't produced any evidence. There's none out there to get, is there? And that's the end of the case. So if that's the end of the case, how can there even be witnesses in a case when they haven't even got a case? Anyway, anyway. <laughs> oh, you're clasping the straws, yeah, you yeah. are. Tony, I'll tell you, but you're showing your two colours. You've been at the busy station about me yesterday. And that's why I put that post up yesterday. You don't want to be sending the busies to see me. You don't, you daft cunt, but you've been in. But uh, honestly, people, even he's been in, he admits he's been in. He's making videos saying he's been in. And when he went in, I'd already been there before, my stomach about him. I've never been to see the police about any gun other than what I've just fucking said. Um, as you will find out, because I'll video them coming to see me about him if the day come. But I can't even genuinely see them being able to come, because there's been no crime committed anywhere. Nobody is witnesses. How can I intimidate him after everything they've, they've done and carried out on social media? That's their job, isn't it? Intimidating everybody. He's just trying it on. He's trying to manipulate the police system, yeah. Fucking wronging. But anyway, if I was Beanie, before he gets found guilty of that gun, and she gets more jail than him, I would go and tell the police now who put her up into making that statement against motorsports. And tell the truth. It wasn't motorsports who had the gun. It was fucking pizza face. And tell them how you've come about making that statement. I would do that now before he gets found guilty. Because once he's found guilty, you kind of start beating, oh, no, 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 then they wouldn't accept it. If you do that now, Bean, you can't tell the truth. Uh, who was behind putting you up into doing that against motorsports with that gun? 
they might give you a squeeze. They might. But if you didn't, fuck it, you're definitely not getting a squeeze. You're getting big fucking jail as soon as he's found guilty. You've, you've, you've tried to jail motorsports for at least five years. Yeah, by saying that's his gun, man. Silly cunt. His pizza face has been caught on camera getting out of the fucking car with it, man. That's why the police people have reported the police to him and the police in the first place. Because they've seen pizza face with the gun. Not motorsports. Motorsports have just took the gun off him at the end. The police have then arrived, pizza face has run away. And motorsports has left holding the gun. People, that's what's happened, yeah. But they've charged pizza face. They're now they're now there telling lies. But there's gotta be a trail. And before they can do anything with Beanie for making these lying statements. But if she's got any fucking sense, she'll go and run to the police station and know, tell the truth who's put her up to that. And you can bet your life who it is, can't you? It's been these two, Pizza Face and fucking bird shit. But that's a situation with that case. Not only is he on trial for the gun, Beanie's on trial for that statement she's made, fabricating evidence against uh, motorsports. But like I say, they can't touch her for it now because she's a witness for the defence. But as soon as he's found guilty, oh, oh, the jury has found you lying in that statement as well. And that's when she gets charged after he's found guilty. She's in bigger trouble than fucking him who's been nicked with a gun. Wait and see. But like I say, if she's got any sense, she'll go and run the day and say, yeah, tell the truth. She's sticking up for this fucking, these fucking animals. Child fucking rapists and his fucking mate. His undercover fucking mate, his fucking handler, so to speak. Yeah, Tony's trying to get me nicked over his Sarah's law. <laughs> Said on his life, I need a holiday. I need a. I need a holiday after this. I, I need a break from him. Me, <laughs> from me. I haven't even fucking started on him yet. I'm just getting warmed up. I need a break from me. Must want his subs to pay for his holiday as well. How long have I been on? 47 minutes. I can't clip them together on this. I can make 20 minutes. I've tried a few times. It hasn't got the storage to clip them together. So I'm trying to make one long... One long... Um, video... Yeah, they're nicked. How can it not be? Oh, what dog owns? How can it not be? Not nicked, charged, but... Well... Tony sat there with the evidence and he said no. <laughs> so he's going to have to explain. And, he, and he's already half explaining in the photo. These are dildo Dave's. And they're not. Corner run down there, his pizza faces. So, have they getting them off them and the other the car park? I want people to think about this because it's a conundrum. What's going on here? But one thing's for sure Dogoin will be onto the cop in charge of the case and getting them questioned. Know that Tony's put that picture online blaming Dildo Dave. Isn't she? She's a fucking ex fucking wannabe cop herself, isn't she? So uh, she, 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 he's got to be questioned now. Tony, how are this? Otherwise, he's fucking charged. There's the fucking pictures. There's the fucking pictures. And you know what? I've got the videos of them sat outside Doug Owen's house. Just to nail it. What would that one, Tony? But anyway, Doug Owen's going to have his question by the police, that's for sure. Now that you've produced the pamphlets that were used. You silly cunt. What a fucking thick fuck. What a fake fuck. Um, it's on you. Not only for Doug Owens. Hector's 
living in London. This is it. when you saw all the gang. Hector's living in London. Gated Angel, Tin Tinfoil, Scarborough. Even though that's you getting done, it's still your firm doing it, Scarborough. Because that's how I'm saying it's done this. Ginger and all these minions when they were a gang. Hayden Bridge, Decker's mum. And, uh, and as, I, as I've said before, there's others. And it's Decker's mum's was three names, and, but there's others as well. And there's others I just kind of think of. He's a wreaked havoc, used as a gang, getting paid by kebab flaps, the bank at the top. He's a wreaked havoc is a gang all over social media and all over the country you say this is a conspiracy headed by kebab flaps and our money and Tony's got the evidence and Tony's in trouble yeah for dog irons so I don't know what he's going to tell the police because there he is with the fucking uh, pamphlets and Rhonda's got the videos as well of um, outside dog going house, him and pizza face when they were doing it. But there he is with the pamphlets, Sean dog going, he has the evidence for you to get us questioned. And I've got the video of motorsports in the boot. What's he going to say when he gets questioned, yeah? And where is this all going to lead to? Tony, do you think? Conspiracy carries 14 years. These aren't petty, petty attacks when it's a gang. And all over the country, and been this is a moon that um, that there is that you have done. This is a conspiracy. It then takes it to a fourteen-year sentence straight away because it's a conspiracy. And you're the first one to get sat down because that photo you've published, trying to blame Dildo Dave for one of the attacks. Wait and see. You're in trouble, you Mister. You're sweating. I've got you in a corner. This is check. Meet, mister.